SpaceX has made tremendous strides in rocket technology over the last decade. Elon Musk and his company have taken the space industry by storm and left several competitors in their wake, one of them being none other than Boeing. New developments suggest that SpaceX may have dealt a new blow to their rivals as the Crew Dragon's recent success makes no one want to fly on Boeing's Starliner. Could the Starliner turn out to be a waste of taxpayer money? Let's take a closer look. Boeing Starliner spacecraft is an incredible vehicle that forms part of NASA's ambitious plan to transport astronauts to space. This remarkable spacecraft, however, has faced numerous obstacles and endured significant delays throughout its extensive development process. Sadly, Boeing has struggled to achieve substantial success with the Starliner, leaving it somewhat overshadowed by its competitor. On the other hand, the missions to the International Space Station, or ISS, are currently overseen by SpaceX's Crew Dragon, a spacecraft that earned its flight certification in 2020. Both SpaceX and Boeing have received substantial financial support from NASA's Commercial Crew Program, or CCP, a funding initiative that was initially announced back in 2014. These two esteemed companies were entrusted with the task of creating advanced spacecraft capable of safely transporting astronauts to the ISS. Initially, NASA anticipated that the spacecraft would be ready for deployment by 2017. However, due to funding constraints and unforeseen challenges during the development phase, the timeline was extended by several years. In terms of design, the Starliner exhibits similarities to the spacecraft utilized in NASA's historic Apollo program. Nevertheless, this innovative commercial spacecraft boasts a host of electronics that are remarkably more advanced, having progressed by half a century since the Apollo era. Its distinctive gumdrop-shaped structure measures an impressive 14.8 feet across at its widest point. During its initial forays into space, the Starliner will be launched aboard Atlas V rockets, a reliable and proven choice for space travel. The primary purpose of the Starliner is to transport up to seven astronauts, ensuring their safe passage to and from the ISS. However, the spacecraft also offers the flexibility to accommodate additional cargo if fewer astronauts are embarked on a specific mission. The development and construction of the CST-100 Starliner spacecraft were primarily funded through Boeing's partnership with NASA's CCP. Over the years, both Boeing and SpaceX have received substantial grants from NASA's commercial ring, which were discovered just last week. The launch of the Starliner, which has already been postponed for several years, was initially planned to send two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station on July 21st. Unfortunately, it seems unlikely that it will take place this summer, and there's even a possibility it won't happen this year at all. During a press conference on June 1st, Mark Nappy, the program manager and vice president of Boeing Starliner, expressed uncertainty about setting new dates. He emphasized the need to thoroughly understand and resolve the problems in the following days. The latest setback is caused by two major safety issues that were identified during meticulous evaluations of the Starliner to ensure its readiness for crewed missions, as explained by Nappy. Firstly, engineers discovered that the soft links used on the suspension lines of the spacecraft's main parachutes have lower load limit than previously believed. 
These links secure the parachute lines to the capsule. And, it turns out, they cannot withstand the strain if one of the chutes fails. NASA requires the ability to land safely with at least two functional parachutes. The second issue relates to the tape used to protect the wiring harnesses inside the Starliner capsule. Nappy disclosed that this tape is flammable and there are significant lengths of it throughout the spacecraft. Removing the tape is not a viable option as it could potentially cause further damage. Therefore, Boeing is exploring alternative solutions such as additional wrapping in the most vulnerable areas to reduce the risk of fire. This delay is the latest in a series of setbacks faced by the Starliner. In December 2019, its first uncrewed test flight failed to reach the intended orbit and could not dock with the International Space Station. It had to return to Earth earlier than planned. Following an investigation by NASA, Boeing was directed to implement 80 corrective actions to address safety and other concerns. A repeat uncrewed test flight took place in May 2022 after experiencing delays due to valve issues. Although the tape and parachute issues were present during that flight, it was considered a success by NASA. In the meantime, two NASA astronauts, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, have been eagerly preparing for the Starliner's first crewed flight, known as the Crew Flight Test. Initially scheduled for February, the test has been continuously pushed back. In 2021, two other NASA astronauts who were initially assigned to fly on the Starliner were reassigned to SpaceX's Dragon capsule to fulfill their missions, which they have since accomplished. During a recent meeting of NASA's Aerospace Safety Advisory Panel, experts expressed concerns about the Starliner's readiness particularly regarding parachute certification. According to a report, the system used in the uncrewed test flight was not certified for crewed missions. Steve Stitch, the manager of NASA's commercial crew program, acknowledged the disappointment felt by the entire team due to yet another delay. However, he expressed optimism and highlighted the determination of both Boeing and NASA engineers to address the issues and move forward. In contrast, SpaceX is experiencing extraordinary triumph with its Crew Dragon capsule. Partnered by a magnificent SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, the Dragon spacecraft embarked on a journey to the ISS carrying four private astronauts. Commander Peggy Whitson, Pilot John Schaffner, and Mission Specialist Ali Alkarni and Rayana Barnawi on the Axiom Mission 2, also known as AX-2, which marks the second time that a group of solely private astronauts has embarked on a journey to the International Space Station. The mission took off from Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida on May 21st and lasted 10 days. The mission encompassed a vast array of awe-inspiring tasks, including conducting cutting-edge scientific research, engaging in educational outreach, and facilitating commercial activities aboard the ISS. Approaching its destination, the Dragon gracefully maneuvered through the vast expanse of space until it flawlessly docked with the ISS, leaving Commander Whitson in awe as she deemed it the smoothest docking procedure in her illustrious career. After spending several exhilarating days aboard the station, the Dragon bid farewell to the vastness of space and skillfully carried the awe-inspired astronauts back home. The capsule gently descended and made a spectacular splashdown off the captivating Florida coast on the night of May 30th, thereby culminating the remarkable Axe 2 Private 
astronaut mission. Following the unprecedented triumph of SpaceX's Dragon, many within the space community have raised pertinent questions concerning Boeing's Starliner spacecraft and its purpose. Boeing finds itself obligated to fulfill at least seven crewed flights for NASA, which encompass the crucial crew flight test and an additional six operational astronaut missions as stipulated in their contractual agreement with the agency. Despite experiencing repeated delays, Boeing has expressed unwavering commitment to its Starliner spacecraft and the fulfillment of its obligations to NASA. Only time will unveil whether they can truly surmount this formidable challenge that lies ahead. If you like this video, you may also be interested in this one, which talks about the Starship's new launch timeline. Do you think Boeing can fix the issues with the Starliner, or will the Dragon force it to become obsolete? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.